when you get involved in webinars of this sort, sometimes you go back to your academic background and you um, try and recall what might be related that can help you um, get a handle on the subject. Well, one of the things that happens when you write a doctorate, when you're doing a doctorate at Columbia University, which is where I studied, you um, have to read something like 200 books. And then you have your oral examinations. Why is that relevant? Because one of those books that I had to read back then was a book called American Federalism by an author named Daniel Elazar. And it was an outstanding book. And one of the things that Elazar showed was that America was divided up into areas that were largely uh, oriented politically by where their immigrants came from. So just as a quick example, uh, Minnesota um, was a state settled by um, very liberal Protestants. Uh, the same was true for the state of Wisconsin. And then we saw who were the senators and congressmen who came from those states. They corresponded with uh, you know, that analysis. In any event, uh, what was important was that during election periods, the entire system gets reoriented many times, not always, but many times. And there is an expression among um, political scientists in the United States, it's called a critical election, a, uh, an election that sort of redoes the political map. And so, uh, you know, one becomes cognizant of the fact that you have, uh, you know, political parties dominating um, the American political scene, and then a critical election comes around and things change. Well, a lot of the commentary about this election, including the Jewish community, but not just the Jewish community, was that um, different groups in American society were going to alter their orientation as a result of developments that had occurred since the last election. And that analysis was used, yes, with the Jewish community, but also with the uh, Black American community, also with the Latino community. And so you're in a new reality all of a sudden that you have to get a grip on and you have to understand. So I'm saying this as a means of introduction because I think if we can get a sense at the very beginning of where America is going, it will help us operate intelligently in the period ahead. I think nobody can really answer this with assuredness, but I believe that being cognizant of what is going on, of the debates in different communities and in different geographic parts of America, um, I think that will help the state of Israel uh, understand its most important ally still today.